All oh, right, what's going on, guys? Moxification here. So today, um, I'm gonna do a tutorial on COD4, and so this is a JTAG tutorial, not like a, uh, uh, not for ISO. But I'm pretty sure that what I'm gonna show you could be done for ISO, but I'm not sure how. And so if I did, you know, if if I do find out, I'll totally do a tutorial on that. But uh, right now, this is just for JTAG, and so uh, yeah, I'll get into it. And just to say, can't do this with USB. It's totally, you know, this tutorial is JTAG only. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess we'll get into it. So, as you can see by the title, um, it said something to do with, like, camos, like, modded camos for COD4. Um, and so I'm going to kind of show you how to get modded camos. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the modded camos that I'm talking about. So uh, I'll uh, show you the file, and then I'll show you what it looks like in-game. So, um, yeah, so what you've got is, uh, you want to go to the description, there'll be, you know, there'll be some files to download. Um, I'll probably just put it into one raw file. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go to uh, the description, you want to, you know, download it. And there'll be, uh, inside there, you'll probably have uh, camo backups. So inside camo backups, what you'll have is you'll have fake camo with, like, brackets around it, rainbow. You'll have, you won't have the high MIP, but you'll have the, you'll have real camo and fake camo. So, the difference between real camo and fake camo is basically, um, you've got fake camo, which is, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of weird to explain. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'll open up the whole patch capture and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, real camo is essentially, um, camos, there's only, I think I've only got, hang on, let me show you how many I've got, I've got three real modded camos that actually look genuine, they actually look like real modded camos, and they're actually like, um, they're kind of, they're not fake, uh, uh, it's such a, it's such a weird topic, but I, I'll show you what I mean, so, uh, let me, let me pick a map, hang on, let me, Make this big screen. I'll just do shipment, free for all, unlimited, unlimited. So I believe I've got. Uh, hang on, let me find it. I've got the. I've got the M40. No, actually, I've got the AK. I think that's it. I've got the AK. So as you can see uh, right now, I've actually got like a camo on the AK. You should be able to see it. We'll, we'll wait for it to put us in the game. Uh, you should be able to see it now. It's kind of like a rainbow type of thing. You, you'll see it right now. It's kind of glitchy. You'll see that it's you know kind of glitchy. It's it kind of like sinks in and out of the gun it kind of it's not an actual camo no one else sees it only you see this you know like even if you're host only you see it because it's you know it's on your game you know it's it's not on anyone else's game so no one else is going to see it um so you know it it does look quite good i think it looks quite good um it would be better if other people were to see it but I, I doubt there's any way for that to be possible, um, and so maybe, you know, maybe if you're a sniper or, you know, you hit clips or whatever, you know, you do trick shot stuff on COD4 and you use your JTAG, it would look pretty sick, and so that's what I'm going to be using it for. I've actually got it on the M40 as well, I believe, um, so actually, let me show you the R700, here we go, so let me change class, so uh, there you go, so right now, um, this was meant to be... Um, the Asimov from CSGO. And so this is why this is a fake camo. So there, there's a difference between the real and fake. So you've got the real, which is the AK. And it looked, um, it was like a rainbow thing. And this is the fake one. And I'll show you how. Um, let me just go over to the G360. So the, G3, uh, the G360 is meant to be blue it's meant to be straight up blue it's not meant to be rainbow as you can see like this is weird you know it looks like a christmas type of rainbowy thing um whereas i mean you know that that's what it looks like it's not meant to be like this and i believe the reason that it's not meant to be like this um is because you know on the website i downloaded this from um it you know it did say that it was meant to be um a blue you know and so uh, what i've come to the conclusion of is that um, the, the way that I've found, you know, the, the way that i found these camos online, um, they actually don't convert well to Xbox. They're meant to be for PC, and they, you know, they kind of convert across to Xbox, but not in a good way. They kind of glitch out, and they go like this. So, the real ones were converted by some way, I'm not sure how. Um, I actually got them from a friend, and uh, he sent them to me, but I did see them a long time ago on the internet. I saw them on Seven Sins a long time ago. And uh, I'm not sure how long ago, you know, many years ago. And 
I guess they was converted through some some way. I'm not sure how, but I guess they were converted some way, um, and it worked. But now, if you just go to if you go to the internet um, and you download them from the internet, and all you've got to do is change uh, the file extension, um, and then you can use them. But it's such a it's such a strange thing to explain because you know right now you don't know what I'm talking about, but it all makes sense very soon. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. So let me let me exit out the whole patch capture. I'll show you. I'll try to explain what I mean. So all right, you've got. The real camos, so you've got the AK-47, uh, the AK-74U, the M40, all of them ones will be, um, I, I believe it's like a rainbow type of thing, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like multicolored type of thing, it was, the, it was the AK that I showed you right at the start, it was the, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's change team, let's go to SES, here we go. So, as you can see right there, um, it's kind of like a rainbowy type of... I'm not sure how to describe it. It's just it's got lines and different colours and it's it's blue, purple, you know, yellow, red, green, you know, it's got loads of colours on it. All of those ones, the AK seventy four U, the um M forty and the yeah, and the AK are all like that uh, same type of texture. That that one that you can see right there in the game. Um it's all like that. Whereas when you come over to the fake ones, just to say there there is only three. There maybe there are more on the internet. But right now there's only three and that's what I'm going to give, you know. Um, and I've also got fake camera mod. So fake camera mod is rainbow. And this is the one that messes up when you convert it from PC to Xbox. But I'm sure that originally the real one, uh, the real ones were converted from PC to Xbox. But maybe f through a different method. I'm not sure how. Um, and that's the thing that I, you know, want to find out how to do. But, uh... I'm not 100% sure how to do it, you know, so what you can do is you can actually get, you know, loads of the fake ones from the internet and all it does is it just makes the gun look weird and like rainbow and it doesn't look good, you know, I mean it still looks good but it's not as good as the, you know, the real ones look, the real actual camos and, you know, it's kind of sad because we've only got three of the real actual camos and so it's not... You know, it's not that great, but it still does the job, you know, it still does exactly, kind of, not exactly what, you know, it's meant to do, but it still does what you kind of want it to do, you know? So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how you would basically install them. So, how to install them, um, I've actually got a website, I'll link that in the description, it's called uh, GameBanana.com, uh, I believe, uh, COD4GameBanana.com. Um, and what you do is, all you'd want to do is find the skins, I, I'll probably just link the website uh, slash skins and then you'll be able to find stuff. Um, they've got load of different things, they've actually got, um, I believe they've got like, uh, you can change the C4 skin and you can change the, uh, your hands and stuff, like loads of different things, so many weird things, you know, but you can change different things. So I've got this one here, Barrett. And what it's meant to look like is that Steel Series. It's meant to look like that, but I guarantee it will not look like that. I guarantee it will look weird, like it will have these little dots on it, and it will be rainbow, and that's why it's fake. And hopefully that makes sense now. Um, it probably didn't make any sense, you know, the past couple of minutes, um, but now I hope it does make sense. So I'm going to download it. Uh, here we go. So, uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. So now I'm going to click on it. I can exit out of the website now. So what you've got is you've got four files. From time to time, you ha you might have one file. You might have two. You might have three. Um, you might have. Uh, I think this is the max I've ever had. I think this is absolutely uh, absolutely the max. So what you want to do is uh, let's say there's let's say there was one file or two files or whatever. Right now there's four. Uh, I think I'm not going to get this bottom one because I'm not sure what that is. It, it looks a bit dodgy. I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use the the three of them. Uh, let me make this bigger so I can copy all of them. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy them to the desktop. There you go. Now what you want to do is, as you can see right at the... Uh, you should be able to see anyway. Um, you'll see that it's like .iwi. And it's like, the, that's, you know, that's the file extension. What you want to do is, you want to rename that. And you want to change it to .hi. And then, you know, it'll say, do you want to change the file extension? Yes. Uh, and you'll do that to all of them. So let me do that now. Uh, IWI to HI. Uh, do it again. Uh, HI. There you go. Uh, and yeah, so once you've done that, all you want to do is open up the, uh, I believe, where is it? Uh, COD4. So I'm going to go into neighborhood really quick. Uh, here we go. Uh, JTAG. Uh, Rita hard drive emulation. 
games, uh, COD4, or you go to wherever your COD4 is, and uh, what you want to do is you want to go into uh, high MIP. Now, what I want you to do, totally don't have to do this, but I suggest you do it. You probably want to make a backup of the high, I, uh, I believe it's high MIP, and uh, the only reason I'd want you to do that is because something might mess up. I doubt it will mess up, but it's it's kind of like a just in case preventative like feature thing that you'd probably want to do, and it's just something that you know a lot of people will do, and it's it's just helpful, you know, just in case. Let's say you overwrite a file and you want to get it back because maybe maybe it'll mess up the game or whatever. All you got to do is drag it uh, drag it across again, and then you know you'll be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them in a one by one. Um, actually, I don't even need to do that. I'll just drag them all in. There you go. Yes to all. And then all you want to do is simply relaunch the game. So, uh, oh, went back too far. Uh, here we go. I'll relaunch the game now. And uh, you'll see in a minute on the Hall Purge Capture that it does restart. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see in a minute. So, uh, yep, yeah, alright, it's, it's launched the game. I'll go into a, yeah, we'll go into an online game. Hopefully no one joins. Uh, we'll put the, I think, what did we just do? I think we just did the Barrett. So, yeah, we'll uh, get a Barrett out. We'll do, we'll do that one, and we'll do. Uh, actually, I forgot what it was. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. Acog and regular. There we go. So we'll we'll go into a game now, and I'll, I'll you know I'll show you what I mean. So the difference is you've got real, which is the um, this gun, the AK. You know, as you can see in a minute, it will be like you know the real camo, um, whereas the fake is the. Uh, let me find it. You know, G3, you know, it's like a weird little dotted thing. And then we just got the, uh, oh, got to change team. We changed back as well. There you go, fake. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty weird. You know, it's kind of like a, kind of like, it looks like a Christmassy type of thing. I don't know, it looks dodgy, you know, but I mean, it's still modded, you know. And I think that's what I'm personally going to use it for. I don't think I'll do it to every single gun. Uh, you probably could do it to every single gun. As you can see, my hands are actually weird right now as well. You can probably see, like, my uh, the character's arms are, like, a bit dodgy. You know, you should be able to see that. Um, other than that, you know, I mean, it, it, it looks pretty good. You know, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how you would actually convert these to be genuine. Um, obviously, it was meant to be the Barrett was meant to look like a, I think it was a... A steel something I've forgotten what it was meant to be but uh, the M40 was meant to be an Asimov from CSGO and it's not it's dotted and weird and you know dodgy you know so I'm not sure how you would actually convert it and so I I'm not sure what you'd have to do but I guess it's been done in the past so maybe it could be done in the future you know so if anyone knows how you would convert it to be genuine to be actually what it's meant to be for example right now this is you know this is meant to be an Asimov and it's not it's, you know it's like a weird dotted thing um, I guess it just gets corrupted or something um, you know uh, yeah I guess it just gets corrupted so I'm not sure how we'd fix it um, just to say, from time to time, if you do spawn in and your gun isn't, like, modded or camo, you know, it's got a modded camo, um, you probably, all you want to do is just re-pick the gun or maybe shoot the gun a couple of times, reload. But as you just saw, when we picked up this Barrett just a minute ago, it actually didn't, it weren't modded. You know, I had to shoot a couple of rounds and uh, reload the gun, and then it was modded. And uh, as you can see, when you reload, it looks even better, but from time to time, it, it's kind of glitchy, and it kind of goes into the gun. You can probably see the camo is sort of, like, in and out of the gun. should be able to see that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, just to say, uh, finally, before I end the video, uh, download link will be in the description. Uh, in the description, I said that really weird. Um, and uh, hopefully, I do carry on uploading videos from now on. I've had a bit of a break. I've had like a week and a bit break, and uh, maybe I'll, you know, carry on uploading. Hopefully, I carry on uploading. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Uh, yeah, goodbye.